Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our ultra lightweight vacuum showdown featuring the Kenmore DS1030 and the Bissell 3061 featherweight cordless vacuums. If you're looking for an extremely easy to push cordless vacuum that actually works well on both hard floors and carpets and won't break the bank, one of these two is probably what you want. But which one is better? We bought both of these lightweight best selling cordless vacuums and put them through various tests to try to figure that out. And in this video, I'll go over the results. So links in the description and let's get started. When it comes to lightweight vacuums, this particular style is the way to go in my opinion. Not just because the overall weight is lighter than most cordless stick vacuums, but unlike cordless stick vacuums like Dyson's for example, all of their weight is in the handle and they can actually be quite tiring on your arm when vacuuming for long periods of time. But these two are more or less in an upright vacuum style, with their weight distributed evenly. So the actual weight on your arm when pushing is significantly reduced. They both also have a handheld vacuum that can easily be removed from the base for above floor cleaning jobs, and they both come with attachments for that purpose as well. They're both very reasonably priced. I would consider them in the budget category, and though the Bissell is more expensive, it's not by much. Starting off with the power, the Kenmore has two power settings, a low and a max power, where the Bissell only has one power setting. In our airflow and sealed suction tests, the Kenmore was quite a bit more powerful than the Bissell in both cases. This was also true in the more practical power tests, like the unsealed suction test, where the Kenmore again did quite a bit better than the Bissell. With the carpet deep clean test, where we try to determine how good they are at picking up deeply embedded debris like sand in carpets, the Kenmore just barely beat out the Bissell again, though it was much closer here. As far as the weight, they were very closely matched. In fact, with the overall weight, there was only 3 grams of difference between the two, though the Bissell's handheld unit was slightly lighter than the Kenmore's. They also had very similar ergonomics, with a very responsive swivel floor head for easily getting in and out of tight spaces. I really can't stress enough, though, that if weight and ease of use is your most important factor, you really can't do better than one of these two vacuums, and while the Bissell is slightly lighter, it's pretty much a tie here. As far as debris pickup, arguably the main job of a vacuum, they were very good with carpets as they were both able to pick up all the types and sizes of debris we tried, up to and including extra large debris. On hard floors, however, while they were both excellent at picking up fine debris and medium sized debris, the Bissell was able to pick up the larger sized debris like Cheerios, which is something that even the Dyson V8 can't do. This is because Bissell has one large front gate on the bottom of the floor head, which allows for larger debris, where the Kenmore has more shallow gates designed for a better seal on carpets, and so it was not able to pick up the larger debris on hard floors. But you can, of course, remove the handheld unit to pick up the large debris in cases like that with the Kenmore. As far as battery life, the Kenmore DS1030 can get 45 minutes on low power mode and 15 to 20 minutes on its max power mode, while the Bissell Featherweight can get 20 minutes on its one power setting. The Kenmore does give you more power options, which is useful for handheld mode or carpet cleaning, where boosting to max power can come in handy, something you cannot do on the Bissell. As far as filtration, neither of them were that great. No vacuum in this price range has a sealed HEPA filtration system, but the Kenmore did noticeably better in our fog test than the Bissell, which was interesting, and I gave it a few extra points because of that. Moving on to features and attachments. As far as special features, the Bissell Featherweight has a pivoting wand, which can be used to get under furniture without bending over. This also means it can fold down for easier storage. The Kenmore has an interesting special feature called an easy cut nozzle, which is where you can press down on the foot pedal while the brush is running, and it will actively remove hair tangles from the brush, which I found to work surprisingly well, though not perfectly. The Kenmore also has LED lights on the floor head. It also has more tools and, in my opinion, more useful tools for handheld mode than the Bissell does, as well as a dock that can store both the vacuum itself as well as the attachments. So after adding up all these scores in the various categories, we found that the Kenmore DS1030 beat out the Bissell Featherweight, though it was a very tight race. But the Kenmore, with its better power, better filtration, and slightly better features and cheaper price, make it a solid choice for someone who values lightweight and ease of use above most other factors. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.
All of the links in our description section are updated regularly to reflect our current favorite vacuums in multiple categories. If you don't know where to start, check out our latest Vacuum Buyer's Guide video linked here. You'll also find links to the VacuumWars.com website in the description where we post all the latest vacuum news as well as much more detailed top 5 lists in multiple categories.